ready to match the stars. Gary Burkhoff, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Madeline Moon, Richard Dawson, and Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rayner. to start shouting and screaming at every little thing I do just because I raise or lower my microphone like that, doesn't that shouldn't. Hey, everyone yeah. in this audience made one of your suits. What's that? I oh, don't know. Yeah. It didn't go over well, so just forget it. <laughs> okay. But are you all ready for fun and games? Oh, oh yes. Sure. Yes. All right. How I'll about introducing the two new no, kids no. on the block? Let's say our two players, Glenda Burke and Sherry Garner. Hello, ladies. How are you? Fine. Your eyes are green, right? This lady has pretty green oh, eyes. Green. Yes. And she's won $11,200. And that's got her pretty excited. <laughs> and she's being challenged by Sherry Garner, who at the moment is behind. We finish round one. The score is three to two. And we go to our second and final round in one minute and three seconds. So you hurry right back and join us. Here we go, friends. <laughs> now, push the button and ask Sherry to make a selection. A, please. A, it is. Here we go. Two people do not play. Who are they? Would I you light up the lights of those who do not play, please? Uh, are you Gary one? Oh, for goodness sakes. Right. Surprise, we were two surprise. Harris, uh, Gary and Harris. Charles oh, yes. do not play. And uh, get on the ball up there because uh, uh, Selma said, yeah. even when my Irving was a little boy, you could tell that someday he'd be a delicatessen owner. Even then, he had blank in his veins. <laughs> That's when what Irving Selma was a said. little boy, you could tell he was going to be a delicatessen because what? Even then, he had blank in his veins. And a melody he was, in his heart. When he was a little boy already, yeah. Oh, there are a lot of choices. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Does spelling count? Spelling does not count. We'll get the idea. We'll figure it out somehow. I know they only went to the third grade, but look at how well you've you done since You can just say, that. that's what <laughs> the right answer. What? That's what one porcupine said to the other. <clears throat> we'll what... figure it out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sherry, God. are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Selma said, even when my Irving was a little boy, you could tell that someday he'd be a delicatessen owner. Even then, he had blank in his veins. Uh, I'm not sure what a delicacy thing is. A delicatessen? Yeah, I don't sure. You know what a delicatessen is? Not sure. You don't know what a delicatessen Well, shall we tell her what a delicatessen <laughs> yeah, she is? Come from that a delicatessen yeah, but... is a place where you can buy many prepared foods, uh, you know, oh, salads and cold cuts and uh, pastrami and, uh, and you know, things to drink and all kinds of stuff like that and, and canned goods and, <laughs> and it's a place where you buy food stuffs of various Next act. <laughs> okay. Delicacies sometimes, uh, you, you know. Could you repeat question? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Salma said, even when my Irving was a little boy, you could tell that someday he'd be a delicatessen owner. Even then, he had blank in his veins. <laughs> Girl, how can I've never met anybody in my life who's never been in a delicatessen? I'm never putting you on. Never honey. been in a delicatessen. No. Where are you from, Sherry? You've led a sheltered life. Ontario. Ontario. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> hard. Uh, Got to come up with an answer soon. Okay, I say um, spices. Spices. Yeah. You've never been in a no. delicatessen. <laughs> okay, she said spices. Brett, what did you say? She's never been in a, in her whole. It, I can't believe they don't that. Have them there. They don't have them in Ontario, do they? That's baloney. Good gravy. That's baloney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty. Well, I said pickle juice. Pickle juice. That's in very spicy. Well, that's what they have. Isn't that what they have? Well, they, yeah, many of them there. Who would have said the strawberry, but it won't fit in the veins? They have. Uh, <laughs> They have Ooh. pickle barrels, and I suppose they got pickle juice there. What did you say, Madeline? I said chicken soup. Chicken soup. <laughs> There's one good one. One bowl of chicken soup coming up. What do you say? I say son of chicken soup. 
son of chicken soup. They got a match. match. <laughs> you got a match Betty White to stay in the game, Sherry. I say chicken soup too. Chicken soup too, so Glenda wins the game. Stand by for a minute. Sherry, I'm sorry. Uh, you're never having visited a delicatessen was your undoing, wasn't it? Yes. You will go to a delicatessen sometime. I will. Right after and the show. And you go order a corned beef sandwich <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, a bowl of chicken soup, something. It's very medicinal, you will find. Thank you, Sherry Garner. We've got a gift for you. Goodbye, my dear. There she goes. Have you ever been in a delicatessen? Oh, many times. Really? What do you order when you go in a delicatessen? Corned beef on rye. Corned beef on rye, okay. Now, Glenda, you're up here for your third time. You're gonna have a go at over $5,000. Are you ready? Okay. All right, we polled a recent studio audience and we got their best response to this. Old man Ooh. blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500, remember? $250 if you match the next one, $100 if you match the bottom one. Whom do you call on here? Brett, please. Brett. How about Old Man River? Oh my God! Yes. Um, Gary. Gary. Hmm. Toss up time. <laughs> um. Old man time. Old man time. Okay. <laughs> Son of old man time. <laughs> That's father oh. time, Holly. Well, can I change it? <laughs> no, I, I think the rule says you can't change it um, once spices. you get a year in. Oh my God. No. One more. Charles. Please. Charles, have you got one? I got two crummy ones. Which one do you want? <laughs> How about your best old man of the sea. Old man of the sea. Oh. All right, so you got old man of the sea, old man river, and old man time. Do you want one of those, or have you got a better one? I'm gonna go with Brad again, old man river. Old man river. <laughs> All right, we're looking for old man river. He don't know nothing. Don't say nothing, and we'll find out where he is now. May we see the one hundred dollar response, if you please? Old man Moses. No one said that. I had it. That was the other crummy one. <laughs> that was the other crummy one. That's what we always said about old man Moses. All right, looking for old man River. Here's the $250 response. Old man and the sea. That was Charles' answer. Last chance for old man Ribba. Here is a five. There it is. Congratulations. Now, you're over, you're up, you're up to $11,800. And she and Brett are going steady, aren't they? <laughs> okay, Glenda, now, you're going to play for $5,000. And since you matched Brett last time to collect the $5,000, you cannot call on her this time. Oh, that's, I'm going to, can I go with Richard again? Yeah, she can call on Richard. No, she can't. Oh, because, oh, she can. Well, would you make up your mind? One guy says yes, one guy yes, says no. She can, she can if she, she can. wants to. What do you want to do? Richard. You want Richard. All right. You face me. Here we go. Now, let's see. She's got my left hand, and I'll just grab the question with my right hand. Okay. There we go. Here it is, Richard. Yorkshire blank. Yorkshire blank. Now, he's finished with that. Glenda is really tense up here. I mean, she is a nervous cat. But you've got to come up with an answer now, Glenda, one you think will match his. What do you say to that? Yorkshire blank. He's English, isn't he? Yes, he is from England. Pudding. You say Yorkshire pudding. There are a number of good choices here. We'll find out if yours matched his. Yorkshire blank. What do you say, Richard? See, if you'd been from England, I would have said that. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's a lovely little dog that she had. Yorkshire oh, oh, the yeah. dog, yeah. Yorkshire home. It's right. a terrier and a collar pudding. <laughs> Congratulate you, but there's something you've got to do for me. That's me making a uh, Really? No kidding. What do you do? I've forgotten what you do. I fly. 
Well, don't we all? <laughs> no, but now that you're a big money winner, you've got to do something for me, if you would. If I'm going to stand up here and give you... No, 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 it's not that. You, it, I, I don't mind holding your hand to give you comfort and, and help you put... But you've got to cut your fingernails, because I'm bleeding. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> I'll cut her fingernails while you watch this message, okay? Congratulations to Glenda Burke. <laughs> now we're ready to start another game. To do that, we very happily present another challenger. So let's welcome Nancy Olshan. How are you, Nancy? Hi. Where are you from and all that? I'm originally from New York. Living originally from New York? Yes, can't yep. you tell? <laughs> living out here eight years. Yeah. I am a sales rep for an East Coast lighting Tiffany firm. Mm -hmm. Married and have a two and a half year old little girl named Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Mm -hmm. And my hobbies include backgammon and tennis. Backgammon and tennis. Yes. Okay, good luck to you, Thank Nancy. You. Shall we begin? Shall. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. And, and Nancy, please make a selection. Beat, please. Beat it. Here we go. <laughs> Nancy has my old voice. Nancy has your old voice, yeah. yes. Yeah. Is that your real voice, Nancy? Yes, it is. Yes, it sounds very nice. Those are her oh, earrings, right? too. She's kind of quit. That's right. <laughs> she has a mellifluous voice. Lovely. Yes. Why, on the submarine, now listen to this. On the submarine, one sailor said to the other, I don't think the new captain knows much about submarines. When we started to submerge, he was up on deck blanking. <laughs> That's a funny little question, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. One sailor said to the other, I don't think the new captain knows much Where about did submarines. One start? While he's up on the deck, he's here too. While we started submerge, he was up on the deck. Blank. I just want to say hello to you, and I thank you for that little memo we brought in for that. Right. <laughs> when you said ocean, I thought you'd been drinking on the job again. And I looked over there and realized it really was ocean. Well, Nancy Ocean, that's right. <laughs> Okay. Love you, Charlie. Charles and Gary, are you ready? Here we go, Nancy. Don't be redundant. <laughs> On the submarine, one sailor said to the other, I don't think the new captain knows much about submarines. When we started to submerge, he was up on deck blanking. Sunning. Sunning. Oh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> captain took his clothes off and was just lying around up on deck <laughs> with his bottle of suntan lotion and <laughs> having a great time there. Gary, what did you say? It isn't easy to get in the Navy. Uh, <laughs> I, I refuse to answer on, that now, question. I have quite a few hours on the water, yeah. oh, you <laughs> so do. to speak. Yeah. And they're a pretty raunchy bunch. I don't know what I'm talking about. I couldn't think of anything, so I said relieving himself. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. Now, Brett. No, 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 that's wrong. His mommy was standing on the shore. Oh. And he was he was waving bye-bye. Waving bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> yeah. mommy. Hello, that, Charles. That we're leaving himself is better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dignity, Charles. I might have come back a little too soon. <laughs> Maybe. Naturally, I said the correct answer. Sunny. Okay. Uh, that fun for you, Nancy? <laughs> what do you say, my dear? I said, sunning. Sunning. As in sunbathing. As in sunbathing. <laughs> As in sunbathing. It said in fine print at the bottom yes, there. There. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say, great white feather? I don't know. The Indians were so friendly at the dance last night. <laughs> <laughs> I said sunbathing. Oh, wow. Sunbathing. For you. That looks like this. Uh, stop that. That tickles me. Yes. Sunbathing. <laughs> Sunbathing. Yeah, for you. That's amazing for a first rounder. Okay, you've got your work cut out for you, Glenda. We'll get back to you in a moment or so, but right now we got to do a little business, and this is it. <laughs> all right, Glenda, are you ready? Mm -hmm. This is all yours. I have a letter here. Oh. Is it from Tustin High? No. Oh, no. <laughs> A letter addressed to Gary Berghoff. From oh. Bristol, Connecticut, I presume. No. It says, Dear Shorty. <laughs> oh, Shorty. It's, it's the French. French. <laughs> Dear Shorty, you've got to help me settle a bet. My friend says you're the shortest star that ever existed. <clears throat> but I disagree. I figure you got to be taller than blank. <laughs> I figure Just you got to be... Just a minute! <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta be taller Somebody than... Somebody said the answer in the audience. Did someone say an answer? I said, you're Brenner. I heard him. <laughs> well, I didn't hear anything, but it, did anybody hear anything? Nobody heard it. Did you hear anything? Oh, you heard something, Glenda? Hold on now. What does that mean, Ira? Glenda said you heard an answer from the audience. Doesn't mean anything. No. Because we haven't revealed anything yet. Write whatever you think is right, and then she'll try and match up, okay? I'm so, I'm so glad. You didn't hear what they say? What I, I didn't hear it. Okay. I'm so glad that the writers... I have lipstick on? Oh, oh that's because I kissed uh, Me. Richard. Commercial. Yeah. <laughs> no, I always... I, I, Betty is a good kisser, so I kiss her at least once during every show. <laughs> and... Do you like that new clip, lip gloss I'm uh, Yes, right? it's very nice. It's very nice. Okay, Glenda Burke. A letter addressed to Gary Berghoff. Dear Shorty, you gotta help me settle a bet. My friend says, you're the shortest star that ever existed, but I disagree. I figure you gotta be taller than blank. Know any short actors? Ever been to a delicatessen? Ever been to a delicatessen, yes. What do you say? Nikki Rooney. You wanna say Nikki Rooney? She says, Mickey but I Rooney. disagree. I figure you got to be taller than Mickey Rooney. What do you say? I think this is a dull question. Really? <laughs> What's terrible. dull about it? He's a very accomplished actor. He's Mickey a very Rooney. accomplished actor. He's always talking about his size and everything. That's not, you know, that, that, what, that, that's not the makeup of a man. I that's said John it. Wayne. No, I said, said Mickey Rooney. said Mickey Rooney. That's one for you, Brenda. Brett? Well, one of my all-time faves was Alan Ladd. That's Alan small, Ladd. but perky. Yeah. <laughs> no, Alan Ladd did eye. all of his scenes standing on a soapbox there. Yes, that's true. And Charles. I said Tiny Tim for the Ring... <laughs> Tiny Tim? No, the Ringling Brothers one. Oh, no, the Ringling the Brothers. Movie. Yeah, the real little one. Yes, not the... Not uh, too uh, Now, what do you say, Madeline? Well, I didn't mean any personal injury to Gary, but I said Lassie. Lassie! <laughs> Lassie. Now you I don't like the implications Lassie, of this entire he's question. Shorter, he's shorter than you are. Just a minute, <laughs> All right, Richard. Mickey Rooney did all of his scenes, I understand, uh, standing on Alan Ladd, which I thought yeah. <laughs> But I said Lassie. Two Lassies in a row there. Now, Betty White, what do you say to that? Well, you have to think of in classic terms. Right. I said Shirley Temple. Shirley <laughs> Temple. I sing better than Shirley Temple ever sang. Just for the record, you are not a short actor. Well, I'm short. He's but a finished I'm not tiny. actor. You're not tiny. Five feet five and a half inches tall. Five feet five and a half inches is terrific. That's taller than you. That's taller, that's taller than you. Right, now you want to hear my stocking feet? <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that. Okay, uh, now here we go with round two coming up. Scores four to one in favor of Nancy. What do you say now, Nancy? Say B again, please. B again. Only two people play this time. Oh. Gary and Brett. Oh. You. <laughs> I'm right close to Shorty, it. Watch it. It's Shorty and the biggie. <laughs> Sally the Girl Scout lost her blank in a pup tent. <laughs> Tent. <laughs> Wasn't that grand? Oh, thank you, Sally. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> All right, the three of you don't play. It's just for... <laughs> oh, we have a grand time here. Gary and Brett are finished, so we come over here to Nancy Olson. Cookies. I beg your pardon. Cookies. <laughs> Is she allowed to do that, give an answer before I even ask the question? Can she do that? I heard you over there. Oh, you heard me when I was standing over there. So you say, uh, Sally the Girl Scout lost her cookies in a pup tent. <laughs> I think that... Charge me two dollars a box. <laughs> well, that is funny. <laughs> it certainly is. Don't you wish you could be as funny as a civilian, Sarah? Yeah, they certainly do. And it's tall. <laughs> <laughs> I said... Well, actually, she's right. First she lost her innocence, then she chucked her cookies. Yeah. <laughs> it affects some people that way. <laughs> Brett, what do you say? Oh, I say I didn't realize she was a Girl Scout. I guess oh, I was sleeping during yeah. that part. I said innocence. Innocence, yeah. Well, it, being a Girl Scout, she could lose, you know, I mean, what the heck, I mean. Well, Nancy um, you gave us a grand laugh, but you didn't score any celebrity matches there, so that means in the middle of round two, it's four to one, we got to stop right now and do a little business, and you curry right back here now. we got to quit right now, ladies, and we'll look forward to seeing both of your pretty faces next time. All right, Nancy and Glenda, and we'll look forward to seeing your pretty faces next time. Thank you. <laughs> All of your pretty faces. <laughs> Isn't it nice to have Charlie back? Yes, it's just I missed grand. everybody. Really. We missed you, yeah. Charlie. It's yes, grand, grand to have you back. It's wonderful. Yeah.
Ryan Stutzkai from Matt's game.